Hey folks, uh, this is lesson 7-3, Converting Within Measurement Systems. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Here is MrMathBlog.com, and this is a 6th grade math class, so make sure you're picking the California link right here. Don't pick this one. This is for the rest of the nation. This is the one that uh, my district is using, so the California one right here. So it'll be right down here below this 7-2 uh, as we get it loaded after this, okay? So um, there's our common core strand for our teachers, and our question is, how can we convert units within a measurement system? Okay, so uh, the two most common systems of measurement are the customary system, which are like um, inches and feet, and, and then the metric system, like uh, meters and kilometers and all that stuff, and liters and grams and all that stuff. So uh, we can use a model to convert from one unit to another that's in the same system. So for example here, Here's a model that shows uh, uh, the relationship with feet to yard. So here, one yard is the same as three feet right there. So, so two yards is right here is the same as six feet right there, okay? And then three yards is the same as nine feet, and four yards is the same as 12 feet, okay? So um, let's write those answers above as ratios of feet to yards. So feet to yards, these this six feet to two yards would be six over two. This would be nine over three. This would be 12 over four right there, okay? So there's uh, the um, ratios in feet to yards. So what the uh, they would like you to recognize is all of these reduce to three feet to one yard right there. So this is gonna be our conversion right here. So feet to yards, are um, the ratio is three to one. They all reduce to three to one. Okay, so any uh, ratio forming a proportion with 3 to 1 can be represented, uh, represent a ratio of feet to yards right there. So, so uh, this says uh, 3 to 1 is the same as 15 to what? Okay, so 3, so, uh, three times 5 equals 15, so 1 times 5 will be 5 right there. So, so what that says is 15 feet equals 5 yards right there. Remember, this is, this is feet to yards, so this is feet to yards, 15 feet to five yards right there. Similarly here, feet to yards, okay, so this went on the bottom went times 18, so if we multiply three times 18, we're gonna get 54 right there. So that tells us that 54 feet is the same as 18 yards, okay? Feet to yards right there, okay? So that's what the conversion does. So how can we draw a model to show the relationship between feet and inches? Okay, remember we had that model with feet and yards. So here's one with feet and inches. So we can draw a bar that represents one, two, and three feet. And then above it, draw uh, a bar that's separated into 12, uh, 12 equal pieces right here. Here's 12 equal pieces. Here's 12 equal pieces. Here's 12 equal pieces. And then, and then above that, you can put inches. Here's 12 inches. Here's 24 inches. Here's 36 inches. 36 inches is the same as 3 feet. 24 inches is the same as 2 feet. 12 inches is the same as 1 feet. Okay? 1 foot. Okay, so we can use uh, ratios and proportions to convert both customary and metric units. We'll use the table below to convert from one unit to another within the same measurement system. So here's a table right here that shows us, you know, here's one foot is equal to 12 inches, one yard is equal to three feet. Bet you didn't know this one here. One mile is 1,760 yards. I should have put one mile is equal to 5,280 feet, but... Your textbook didn't, so I didn't put that there. So one pound is 16 ounces, one ton is 2,000 pounds. And so here's our conversions right here. So when they give us uh, cups and we're trying to convert it to fluid ounces, then we just multiply it by eight. If they give us kilograms and we're say we had seven kilograms and we're trying to convert them to grams, then we just multiply it by this number, 1,000 right there, okay? All right, so... So each relationship in the table can be uh, described by two equivalent ratios, okay? So for example, uh, one quart to two pints right there, okay? One quart, here it is, one quart equals two pints. We can, we can represent it as this ratio, one quart to two pints, or this ratio, two pints to one quart. It just depends on if we want to convert to pints or quarts. If we want to convert to quarts, we will use this ratio. If we want to convert to pints, We'll use this ratio right here, okay? So an average human brain weighs three pounds. What is that? Did you know that? I didn't. I knew a head. I heard in a movie that a, a average head weighs eight pounds. I don't know how, some movie. Anyway, a brain weighs three pounds. What's the weight in ounces? Okay, so 
Uh, we're going to use a proportion to convert three pounds to ounces. So let's identify the ratio that compares uh, the units involved. So we want to convert pounds to ounces. So what does one pound equal? One pound equals 16 ounces right there, okay? So I'm going to write a proportion. One pound to ounces is going to equal three pounds to how many ounces? And notice this is times three, so we'll multiply this times three right here. So 16 times three is 48, so a three-pound brain weighs about 48 ounces right there. Okay, so a moderate amount of daily sodium consumption is about 2,000 milligrams. So what is the mass in grams? These are things I didn't know either. So I'm going to use a proportion to convert 2,000 milligrams to grams. Okay, so let's uh, identify the ratio that compares the units involved. Okay, so one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams right there. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and set that up and write a proportion. There's our one gram to a thousand milligrams right there. We're going to make that equal to um, how many grams uh, to 2,000 milligrams. So notice the milligrams are on the bottom, so make sure we put the milligrams on the bottom. So this says 2,000 milligrams. We could have put 1,000 milligrams on top and one gram on bottom, but then that means this would have had to go on top and this would have had to go on bottom, okay? All right, and then recognize this is times two right there. So if we do times two times two, we get two grams right there. So mass of 2,000 milligrams is equal to two grams, okay? All right, suppose we wanted to convert 27 feet to yards. Would the number of yards be less than or more than 27? Well, since yards are bigger than feet, it's going to be less than right there. So how many yards um, are in 27 feet? Well, just think, 3 to 1. So we divide that by 3. There's 9 yards in 27 feet right there. All right, um, uh, in section B, what other ratio based on the table could we have used? What would be our proportion be? Okay, well, here's section B right here. We use the proportion 1 gram to 1,000 milligrams. So we could just flip this upside down and make it 1,000 milligrams to 1 gram. Okay, so here's 1,000 milligrams to 1 gram. And notice we put the milligrams of the 2,000 milligrams to how many grams? And then we'd get 2 still. And so it doesn't matter which ratio you set it up. Just make sure you're consistent on the other side. Side, okay. All right, so we're going to use ratio and proportion to solve. Okay, so the height of um, Mr. R, do you guys know Mr. R? I know Mr. R. He teaches at one of our middle schools in my district. Cool guy. Uh, the height of Mr. R is six feet. What is the height of him in inches? Okay, so our conversion is one foot is equal to 12 inches. So it said use ratios and proportions. So I did one foot for 12 inches is six feet to how many inches and so we notice that this went times six so we multiply 12 times six and we get 72. Notice the direction said use ratio and proportion so they want you to set up a ratio with another ratio and make them equal that's what a proportion is right there. Okay so Jane has 40 fluid ounces of juice what is the amount in cups? Okay so here's our conversion from one cup to fluid ounces is equal to eight fluid ounces so let's set up a ratio with a proportion a proportion is when two fractions equal each other, when two ratios equal each other. One cup equals eight fluid ounces. That's going to be how many cups to 40 fluid ounces, okay? And then we notice that eight times five is 40, so one times five is going to give us five cups right there, okay? How many milliliters are there in two liters? Okay, so here we're going to have to go from liters to, um, oops, that should be a, a milliliter right there. There should be a small little L right there, ML. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Anyway, so um, uh, so there's our proportion right there, and then we notice that this is 1 times 2, so 1,000 times 2 is going to give us 2,000 milliliters, okay? How many meters are there in 350 centimeters? Okay, so, um, so we're going to have to go from meters to centimeters, so we're going to do the conversion of 1 over 100 right there. So 1 meter to 100 centimeters is equal to how many meters? To 350 centimeters, okay? And we multiply it by 3.5, and that's going to get us... 3.5 meters right there. All right, so uh, another way to convert measurement is by multiplying by the conversion factor. So we kind of did that, but it asked us to set up ratios in proportion. So a conversion factor is just a ratio comparing the two equivalent measurements, okay? So to make raspberry lemonade, Don wants to buy two gallons of lemonade, but the store only sells lemonades in quarts. So how many quarts does he need? Okay, so there's our conversion right there. One gallon is four quarts right there. So if one gallon is four quarts, then two gallons is going to be four times two quarts. 
um, uh, uh, so that's going to give us eight quarts, okay? So one gallon is four quarts, okay? And so he has two gallons he has to get, so we're going to multiply four times the two gallons. That's going to give us eight quarts right there, okay? All right, Mr. Bressler has powder that, uh, in a container that has a mass of 1.25 kilograms. What is the mass in milligrams? Okay, so right here, you guys, uh, we got to go from kilograms to grams, and then we got to go from grams to milligrams because it's asking us in milligrams right there. So we got to convert it twice right there. So there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. So if we multiply the 1.25 kilograms times a thousand, that's to tell us how many grams there are. So there's 1,250 grams. When you multiply by a thousand, it just moves that decimal over three places. One, two, three. That's what's good about the metric system. Just moving the decimal left and right. Okay, so now we got to uh, uh, convert that to milligrams. So there's a thousand milligrams in one gram. So if there's this many grams, we multiply this by a thousand, and that just takes the decimal, which is right here, move it over three places. One, two, three, and that just adds three zeros. So there's 1,250,000 milligrams in 1.25 kilograms. Oh boy. All right, so a mass of 1.25 kilograms is about uh, 1,250,000 milligrams. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.